This is News 8 from Wood TV. Sandra Lindsay, a nurse in New York who was the first person to get the COVID-19 vaccine in 2020, got the updated vaccine today. Yesterday, the CDC director signed off on the recommendation that all Americans aged six months and older receive the updated COVID booster amid rising cases and hospitalizations across the country. Joining us now to talk more about this new booster is Dr. Liam Sullivan, infectious disease specialist at Corwell Health. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Yeah, no problem. So this new booster is targeting one specific variant, but does it offer protection against the many going around right now? Yeah, they uh, all the companies that are that released the new new uh, shot, including Pfizer, Moderna, and Novavax, have tested it against several of the circulating variants right now, and they have found that it offers pretty good protection and pretty good antibody responses to all the variants that are in circulation at this time. Okay, so this is one that I think you probably hear a lot. Why do we need another round of shots? Do you think we will need one every year moving forward? Well, you know, that's a good question. You know, um, I think that's been a hotly debated topic, whether we're going to need one every year going forward. One of the things about this virus is that it is constantly mutating, and it actually mutates quite a bit faster than influenza does. You know, we get updated influenza vaccines every year. Um, so there is a thought with the rat, with the continuum mutation of this virus that we should update the update this shot every year. I think for the foreseeable future, that is probably going to be the case. Whether that remains the case five, 10 years from now, is hard to say because I don't think we really have still not seen exactly what the pattern of COVID infections is gonna be throughout the year because we continue to get this waxing and waning at different times of the year. And it's not nearly as predictable as influenza is. So I think that's gonna make it a little bit difficult to say how this is gonna play out in the long run. But I think for, at least for the next several years, yes, we probably will have updated shots every every year now. One of the things the ACIP, the Amer Advisory Council on Immunization Practices discussed yesterday was the timing of when updated shots should be. You know, right now they're doing it in the fall, but that may change going forward because of, you know, because of the unpredictable nature of this virus. Yeah, this virus is still fairly new when it comes to viruses, I suppose. Well, the yep, CDC recommends, yeah, the CDC recommends uh, the new booster for all Americans over six months. What about those younger than six months? Uh, I'm far, you know, I'm not a pediatric infectious disease specialist, but as far as my reading what ACIP said, there is no recommendations as of right now for people younger than six months. And I don't think any of the vaccines are licensed for uh, children under the age of six months anyway. So, so they are not recommended for it at this time. So take other precautions. So how soon should we get this booster? Should we wait to get closer to the holidays? What's your recommendation there? Um, you know, I, that's a good question. I think you, if, if you want to get it now and offer protection now, now is a good time. I mean, cases have been rising rising recently, although it's not a steep rise like we saw with Omer, the Omicron wave over a year and a half ago. But we are seeing a rise in cases. So if you're very concerned about, about getting sick, now is a good time to get it. But if you want to wait to get it, but as we get closer to the holidays when you're going to be gathering around your family and friends more, that's okay as well. I mean, one of the things about the the, the shot is that it's only going to offer the protection from a, against actual infection is going to be rather brief probably about in the order of oh, four to six weeks somewhere in there i mean it, we do know that from past booster shots that protection against infection does that does wane but the protection from severe disease and hospitalization is really what the important part about this shot is because that's what it's going to protect you from in the long run um, so if you're concerned about getting an purely infected and not spreading the virus to other people and you're going to be around friends and family for the holidays maybe waiting a little bit longer until the ho get closer to the holidays might be better because it's only going to offer that protection against infection for you know like i said for one to two months not not a, not a uh, lot longer than that all right dr liam sullivan uh, infectious disease specialist at corwell health thank you for the information you're welcome